back and at it with a brand new modern warfare 2 and warzone 2.0 video here guys and in this video is on all the haunting secret challenges which are pretty much all the hauntings easter eggs and we're going to be breaking down everything for you right here there's a bunch of easter eggs to complete so bear with me it says the modern warfare 2 haunting event got another update that added in 10 secret challenges to warzone players can unlock free rewards such as a blueprint by completing the various easter egg quests in modern warfare 2 and warzone haunting update there are roughly two Two weeks left for players to enjoy the haunting for modern warfare 2 this is one of the secret easter egg challenges it says complete the chessboard easter egg the new haunting map modes and playlist following the launch of the haunting inside of modern warfare 2 this past week activision confirmed that not all playlists will be available on launch the mid-season 6 update for mw2 and warzone received additional playlists and modes to kick off the weekend which allowed players to calmly focus on the challenge event and bosses during the launch of the haunting you're going to see a bunch of various haunting themes for Warzone. The latest update to the haunting added Von Dead Lockdown as well as Zombies Royale into both Almazra and Vondel. Up to 10 secret challenges were added to the haunting with many only being available to complete in any mode on Vondel's night variant. Von Dead, you also cannot play Vondel night in DMZ. 10 secret challenges and how to complete them. Fans of the haunting have even more to complete on top of the soul capture event or Operation Nightmare as additional challenges have been added into warzone players can jump into any mode on al mazra knight or vonded to complete a series of challenges to earn free rewards keep in mind zombie royale is on 50 minute rotation between al mazra and vondel that's the witch's book easter egg challenge pharaoh boss fight alternate ending players discover an ultimate ending to the pharaoh boss fight in al mazra which rewards players with a free mrap vehicle and additional loot all you have to do is reawaken the pharaoh as per usual but this time do not shoot him after 10 seconds the pharaoh will thank you and provide you with free loot that's actually fantastic so don't shoot the pharaoh for 10 seconds and it provides you with an mrap instantly that's pretty lit run over a zombie at the lilith's altar almazor or vondel if you get too close to any boss fight area inside of almazor or vondel using a vehicle the player's ride will be ddos meaning you can no longer drive it fans of the butcher's boss fight will need to carefully bring the vehicle close to the altar but far enough to where it doesn't shut down start the ritual to spawn zombies and lure one of the vehicles to run them over you'll now have unlocked the apocalypse ready vehicle skin so make sure you do not move too close to the altar that's what it said this is the skin that you get the apocalypse ready it's pretty litty encounter five jump scares using a haunted box any map the haunting brought the additional of haunted supply boxes around warzone and dmz aside from the scary animation you received from throwing one out there's a chance of a jump scare triggering either after throwing one or refilling your supplies from one haunted boxes are typically found in any of the chests preferably be the orange ones and can be laying around the environment in our map or Vondel. Upon getting jump scared five times, you'll unlock the following calling card. That's the box that you pretty much have to get the haunted box. And that's the calling card that you get right there. It's called Scared to Death. Because <laughs> literally, this is scaring me to death personally. Win a match of Zombies Royale. Any match, Warzone community is reporting that winning a match of Zombie Royale isn't tracking properly, but it is indeed a secret challenge. Players familiar with the haunting events from Modern Warfare 2019 and Black Ops Cold War will already feel warm up to the unique LTM that is Zombies Royale. Winning a match isn't for the faint of heart, but working closely with the decked out team or staying in the air while spawning back in as a human should give you the competitive edge against operators and the undead. Winning a match should earn you a free sticker. All you gotta do is get a dub, guys, and as you can see, you get that free sticker right there, made it out alive. It's actually pretty lit. Play X matches of Zombies Royale, any match. Not much is known about this secret challenge, but stay tuned for further updates on this requirement. The usual Twitter leakers revealed that players can earn haunting theme loading screen for just playing a specific amount of matches of Zombie Royale. Rumors have it that players must play around 20 plus games to complete this challenge. That's actually pretty lit. So I'm pretty sure you could just join the game and back out. That should still count as playing a match. Win a Zombies Royale match as a zombie. Matches of Zombie Royale could be hectic and it's even possible for your squad to win a game even if all teammates aren't human. So long as one player on your squad stays alive until the very end, any squad mates who are still zombies will unlock the free emblem for their efforts. Players who are zombies are still featured in the match's X-File cutscene, which spices things up for the haunting. This is pretty much the secret challenge right here, guys. 
winning as a zombie unlocks a secret reward. Win a match without dying. What is by far the most difficult secret challenge is to win a full match of Warzone without dying. It's currently unclear if this challenge is limited to the haunting themed LTMs or it can be completed in all Warzone modes. New reports suggest that players can complete this in Warzone Mobile so as long as their Activision accounts are linked it's probably best to complete this in a mode that isn't as hectic as Zombie Royale to unlock the rare Undead Ruins decal. That's the new Undead Ruins decal. Personally man it's not that hard bro. Just play at the GOAT team and just stay back while they do everything. Complete the Witch's Book Easter Egg. For those who are hoping for a free blueprint to unlock inside the haunting you're in luck. Make your way inside a specific mausoleum within the graveyard to summon a book. Once the book has been summoned make your way over to the bottom of the windmill where a free blueprint for the SO14 awaits. Keep in mind that other players can steal this free blueprint if they make their way to the windmill before you do so be quick the free so14 blueprint is known as the witch's stick it's actually a pretty lit blueprint that you get for this book challenge complete the chessboard easter egg vondel Warzone players who played a lot of Vondel are aware of the giant chessboard that's located next to the museum. The haunting update added an easter egg to this chessboard. As one of the pieces is now missing, a missing piece can be found just a few feet away and is a challenge to bring it back. Players must look at the chess piece while looking away, moving in the direction of the chessboard, occasionally looking back at the piece before it hits you. If the chess piece touches the player, it'll spawn back where you found it. Once the chess piece is returned, to the board it'll reward players with the free checkmate charm and variety of in-game loot that's actually pretty lit just move the chess piece back to the board and you get a free challenge that's a free emblem that you get right there checkmate tag 20 operators with blood seeker grenades limited time haunting theme equipment was also added with the launch of mid-season 6 update players can randomly find blood seeker grenades which need to be thrown directly at enemies for this secret challenge to track blood seekers can be found in random loot chests the giant chess board upon completion of the quest and evenly randomly around the environment once 20 real operators have been tagged by the blood seekers will be when the player unlocks the free calling card so you got to tag them with the blood seeker grenades once you tag them you unlock the free calling card that's the free calling card right there oh my god that actually looks pretty lit this is the breakdown of all the secret challenges that you have to complete for warzone remember it's all in warzone that you have to complete all these challenges there are 10 challenges to complete you could call them easter eggs or you could call them secret challenges it doesn't even matter guys i'll be putting up individual videos on each of these videos so you could complete it yourself but personally i have to just break it down this way so you guys can read it out and go there yourself if you're good at that or if you need more visuals i'll show you that visual hope you enjoyed this video guys on all 10 secret challenges or easter egg challenges we'll be breaking down everything for the haunting season six of modern warfare 3 subscribe to my channel and like this video peace